YouTube, this is only my third video. Uh, still nervous behind the camera, still trying to get used to remembering what I'm going to say or what I want to say. Uh, so there will be some editing, I'm hoping to make it as smooth as possible. Now today I'm going to be doing a review on a couple of air rifles and basically due to the nature of them, I, I don't want to be trapping around uh, woodlands or anywhere with them. Hence I'm doing it in the back garden, so if you can hear lawnmowers or dogs barking, I do apologise. So, as I say, I'm doing a quick review on a couple of air rifles, and uh, we'll make a start. The first one I got was an SMK-19, uh, in a bright barrel. It was uh, alright for ratting and stuff like that, a little bit noisy. So I uh, sold it in the end. actually got the first one here. I managed to borrow this back from its owner uh, just for the purpose of this video. Now as I said it's an SMK19, it's a 2-2 brake barrel, whack it there, brakes, load it, cock it, you're ready to go. The scope on it is a Hawk 4x12x40 mil dot scope, ideal scope. Absolutely lovely scopes they really are, hook. On the end, it's just a cheap silencer. It does help, but not a great deal. But as I say, still a lovely rifle. And it's ideal for ratting and maybe the odd pigeon and stuff, if you can get close enough. I'm not going to go through all the specifications, foot per pound on all these rifles. All I will say is... <laughs> The next one you see will be more powerful and it will carry on like that. There was only three, so it shouldn't be too long. As I said, I'm sorry about the dog barking in the background. Right, with this one, I think we'll try and crack a few off and then see if it's still on target and see how it goes. Let's try that. I got myself. SMK QB78. It's a CO2 rifle. Put the CO2 in here. They go back to back. It's uh, more powerful than the last one. This is bolt action. Single pellet. Fits into there. I don't know if you can see it because of the distance of the camera and that. This also has a hawk scope. This is a Hawk 3B9 by 40. On the end, I have one of the most quality silencers on it. This is a decimator. Lovely uh, silencer. And just behind it, it's just a cheap barrel mount bipod. Folds up like that when I'm not using it. Push the little button, down it comes. You also twist the feet. And it adjusts. And I say, this rifle I use for ratting. Um, it's, it's ideal for it. I'll show you some night, uh, night footage of it, of the ratting. And I'll go through the night vision stuff we have now. So here I have my little monitor just under the cable. On the end here, let's see if I can come a bit closer. On the end there, I just have a little clip which clips onto the barrel of the gun. I'll bring it all a bit closer but it's going to be out of shot while I'm clipping it on, so I do apologise for that. Clip that onto there, like so. Next, we have the camera. As I say, this is homemade, and in there is a bullet style camera with a 12mm lens. 
I'll put a picture up and a, a link to my mate's video. Gives you shows of these in more detail. But that simply pushes onto the end. Like so. I'll take it off again. There you go, one camera. Pushes onto the end. Plug plugs into the bottom. I will show you this working. Next way I have <coughs> is our little light again. Fits on to the rifle. Plugs in. Now I've just got to try and remember. I think it's a 28 LED. What we've done at the front, I'll bring it closer. I've fitted a filter just to block out some of the light from it. They do glow red, and this just just quiets it down really, quiets that red noise down. But I say that clips onto there, and that's near enough for night vision. We have a battery pack, which goes on there. I've then got a switch here. I can turn it on. <coughs> Underneath, I'll put a socket where I can run a lead there from there to my recorder, so we can actually record the shooting. Now the recorder I'm using is this little fella here, should bring that closer, it's a PV800, I actually got this from my boss at work, these are expensive, he gave me this due to uh, scratches on it and the hard drive plays up now and then, it doesn't bother me, uh, so he couldn't sell it so he's donated it to me for my ratting. On the back there, I don't know if you're going to see it with the camera, but I've got two sockets, on there also is a little switch, so when there's two of us sitting in the car shooting, we can flick from one camera to the next, so we can film the actual shot. As I said, I will show you some footage of that. If I'm rambling on, I do apologise, I'm just trying to get through everything. So let's see some video. Let's call the money shot. Oh, hold my breath so long then. Right. I'm just going to put that down. I'm swapping hands here. Right, here we go. Back up. Sorry about the wobbly camera. But as I say, it's very awkward. What I want to try and do is put my hand in front of the light. This is a bit awkward, but that's with the light on, and I'm just covering it over. You can see that there's nothing there on the screen now. Let's remove it. Do it once more. There they go. Lift them by my hand, and there they're back. That's just showing you how effective that lamp is. I'm actually filming this, not to show you just how good it is. 
also for uh, mica animal tendencies. Uh, he did a video with his torch, and I was there. I sent him a PM about about this, and uh, he asked for a video. So I'm just gonna. It will go in the dark a bit, but I'm just gonna take him around to the front. Okay, now you can see the front of the light. That's with the filter fitted. And believe me, he's really dulling them lights off. And uh, that'll be it for the night uh, shoot. I'll see you again in a minute. Well, you can see. Straight away after the, taking the shot of the target, you can see it's a lot quieter than the first one. Uh, the battery packs you can make yourself. Or you can just look on eBay. The actual lamp we got on eBay. Um, the screen, just look around on the internet, it's a 2.5 uh, mil screen or 2.5 inch screen, I should say. You can get a bit of light off them. The best way to do it is, like I've done with the recorder, actually fit a small filter over the screen to dull it down. It's still ideal for me <clears throat> and you can do the same with the little monitor if you find it too bright when you're out there and you're close to it the reflection off your face from the light can be a bit bright and spooky rats so that, that's that right moving on <laughs>